The Philips CX50 has long been known as the gold standard in portable cardiovascular ultrasound machines. But with a new set of lower cost machines getting closer in image quality, is the CX50 still the top dog? Hi, I'm Brian Gill from Providian Medical, and this is the Philips CX50 Portable Shared Service Ultrasound Machine. When it was released in 2008, the CX50 established itself as the premium cardiovascular ultrasound machine, and it also came at the premium price. And even today, that still remains true, except the landscape has changed. First of all, the CX50 finally has a true competitor in the GE Vivid IQ. Second, Recently introduced mid to upper range ultrasounds have improved their cardiac quality. Now you can find decent new portable cardiovascular systems that are about $15,000 less and come with a longer warranty. Third, while they're not abundant, refurbished CX50 units are available on the refurbished market way more than they were in the past. Fourth, the CX50 has been around for 10 years. This is a long life for an ultrasound machine and I would imagine that it will soon be replaced. Now these four items combine to make the CX50 more affordable than it was in the past as a new or refurbished ultrasound machine. Okay, well affordable may not be the right word. The CX50 and the Vivid IQ remain the most expensive portable ultrasounds out there, but that's expected and it's not unfair. Frankly, any practice that uses the advanced features you can find on these machines is likely billing more than enough to pay for the machine. But for those whose budgets aren't large enough for the CX50, typically their advanced features aren't really applicable to your situation. Now, they also have an option of purchasing a refurbished CX50 just like this one, and that's something that might fit in your practice. And if you can afford it, it's a great portable ultrasound machine. Many of its advanced technologies are those that you'd find on a large console machine, and it has the software and processing power to handle those features while still providing good penetration, frame rates, and image quality. Okay, so when I talk about advanced features, I'm talking about unique ones that are found on this or a console machine, such as Intracardiac Echo, 40 TEE, advanced post-processing options, strain, syncing with live images from saved or archived images or loops, ECG triggering, multiple ECG auxiliary imports and display, and other quantification tools that just now got introduced onto the Vivid IQ. So if a lot of what I just said means nothing to you, the CX50's high price tag may not give you the return on investment that you're seeking. Okay, so Philips will claim it has the best technologies available on the portable cardiac ultrasound machine. And for the most part, that's true. For example, in addition to the aforementioned features, it also has these pure wave single crystal transducers that provide great image quality. You'll get better penetration and better image quality throughout the image than on other machines. Also, it's post-processing, image comparing, and diagnostic tools just aren't available on the less expensive systems. Okay, so usability. It's above average for a compact ultrasound machine. It's pretty easy to use, but it's also about two to three pounds heavier, about three inches longer than most other portable ultrasounds. Boot time is also slower than most. It comes in at about two minutes. This is not a big deal, but it's an important consideration for point of care situations. Battery life is also on the low end. You get about 40 to 60 minutes off of a full charge. Now you can purchase additional batteries and it's really easy to swap them, but you can't swap them while the system's on. You gotta shut down, swap it, and restart. Exporting connectivity, these features rank at the top of the category with so many options as compared to other machines. In addition to its extensive Diacom and PAX features, you can export to USB or the integrated DVD burner to PC or Diacom format. And the CX50 for usability is also one of the most customizable systems in the market and it's designed with the user in mind. For example, there are some things in the system setup that are much more user-friendly than any other system out there. Specifically, it's explanations of different critical technologies that most users just don't understand. And these can be very, very helpful in making you more efficient with what you do. Now, Philips seems to be the only manufacturer that recognizes that ultrasound techs and physicians generally don't understand anything about image compression, DICOM networks, and complex system setups. Really, they just need to do the scanning and they don't want that other stuff. Now, while the Philips, it still is complex, it does have helpful tools in there about its more complicated features that don't require deep research or a degree in information technology or biomedical engineering. GE and other manufacturers, take a look and take note, especially GE. 
It's the place where I spend more time supporting their full hard drive system setups, networking, export, and DICOM connectivity. Your users can't figure it out. It is difficult. That's why I have videos on it. So anyway, let's get back to the cardiac imaging. This is the real reason to buy the CX-50. Most would claim that it has the best 2D color Doppler wall definition on the market. For other imaging applications, the CX-50 can be figured as a full shared service ultrasound, but in general, it's very good, but not necessarily the best. That being said, it's a system very good for point of care, small parts, MSK, venous, needle guidance, OBGYN, and others. The image quality is very good in my tests of all these but it doesn't stand above the crowd as it does in the cardiac imaging where it really excels. Okay, so let's talk about some of these features. You'll find all the advanced technologies that are on most systems today that are just basically a standard. Compound imaging, speckle reduction, tissue harmonics, then needle visualization, stress echo, and IMT. Most in the mid to upper all the way to the premium have those. But the rare features are found in its QLab software, where these features are really only found on console systems, but you can get them on this, like strain quantification, microvascular imaging, 3D quantification, cardiac motion quantification with speckle tracking, smart exam exam protocol calls, live 3D and 4D TEE, mitral valve quantification, and intracardiac echo. Okay, so most of these features focus on cardiology, and that's expected because this is supposed to be the most advanced portable cardiac system on the market. So is the CX-50 the best portable ultrasound for you? Well, if your budget can handle it, then I'd say it's a great option and you can't really go wrong. Not necessarily for its advanced features, but the image quality for standard cardiac and difficult to image patients really is excellent. The closest competitors for the cardiac imaging are the GE Vivid Q, GE Vivid IQ, and I'd say the Mindray M9 fits there too. Now for its cardiac feature set, the only competitor is the GE Vivid IQ. However, the price for a new Vivid IQ is similar to the CX-50, but if you're in the refurbished market, don't count on finding a Vivid Q, a Vivid IQ very easily. At the time of this video, the Vivid IQ is a recent release and refurbished units just aren't really out there. I can tell you that if you're using a Philips, you should stick with it, you can't really go wrong. And also I can tell you that those two systems are very different from a usability standpoint. Most notably, the Vivid IQ does not have a keyboard or trackball. It uses a touch screen and a trackpad. While this is nice for a more stellar environment, call me old school, but I think the trackball and full keyboard are much more user friendly and efficient, especially when it comes to making measurements, typing annotations, and just entering patient information. Also, the CX-50 has been around for a long time and is known to be a stable system. The Vivid IQ is new, a completely redesigned system, and I have no idea it could be the most stable system out there or not. I can't really tell you. Now, the Vivid IQ is prettier and looks much more high-tech, which is important to some. In the CX-50, well, it looks like something from 2008 because that's when it was made. So if it's in your budget, I don't think you can go wrong with either one of these. At this level, you're gonna be comparing technologies, just the overall feel of it, and what best technologies fit your specific situation. And now one more final note, as I mentioned before, there are new systems that are lower in price range that are getting closer in cardiac. By no means am I saying they're as good as the CX-50 or the Vivid IQ, but they're getting closer. And if you need to decide, you need to look in whether the CX-50 is $15,000 better than the others. Now, Philips made a great machine and they continue to lead the market with their portable cardiac ultrasound machines. And I'd still say this has got to be the gold standard for portable cardiac machines. I'm Brian Gill from Providian Medical and that's what you need to know about the Philips CX-50 portable ultrasound machine. Thanks for watching.